Hello guys and gals, Debo the Hero here with another video. Um, we have today, we have set 76956, the T-Rex Breakout Jurassic Park set. This was released or, uh, yeah, released on April 19th, which was Easter Sunday here in America. This was a Target exclusive and Lego store exclusive and Target's were closed on Easter Sunday. Interesting. Anyway, uh, I pre-ordered this set and it was just delivered today. Um, let's take a look at it. The box art is quite beautiful. We have Jack here eating a bone, as always, right beside us. Let's take a look at the top and we have all the minifigures in the set. So we have Alan Grant, Ian Malcolm, Lex and Tim, and a hood piece uh, for actual size and scale. Flipping over to the side, we see T-Rex um, Escape here nothing much to see there on the other side however there's a very nice picture of a t-rex half a t-rex um and more of the style akin to the actual movies and on the back of the box we have the set in a different angle with some measurements so we it, we can see that it measures 23 inches long and about six inches high and let's get into the set and see how it is also want to just point out here that I absolutely love the look of this instruction manual. This reminds me of the um, uh, Lost World movie uh, VHS ca uh, case um, packaging from the Lost World. It's just beautiful. And, you know, at the beginning of the instruction manual on these type of uh, 18 plus sets, you know, they have a lot of information about the set designers, um, the Lego designers, and just some of the inspiration and all. And along the way, if I can quickly find one, you can see that as you finish something iconic to the scene, there's these clip uh, clip notes that are in here that shows you something about the scene in a couple different languages here and just talks to you about uh, maybe that this was the most, uh, in 1993, this was the most wanted car. You know, everyone wanted this, this in the Jeep. So that's a nice little detail there. And those are scattered throughout um here and there depending on what you're building uh, you get one for the t-rex you get one for uh i believe the fences i know you get one for um the uh no it's this one this little piece right here um as well as this dashboard piece that shows the map there's a nice little excerpt um about these days you know we have technology in the palm of our hands i'm recording this on an iphone but Back in the day, this was some of the most advanced technology the world had ever seen. And so, after two and a half hours, maybe three hours, depending on your building speed, uh, we have the T-Rex Breakthrough. 1,212 pieces here. And before I get into anything, I'm going to rate this set as, sadly, a 7 out of 10. This is one of the sets that I've always wanted Lego to make. It's it's amazing that they didn't include the um, Jeeps or the Ford, Ford Explorers and the um, T-Rex Breakout set. But here we are and we have this diorama set, which looks overall, I will say, a little messy. The Jeep is something, or the Ford Explorer, 1993 Ford Explorer, is something I've always wished Lego would make, especially when they made the T-Rex Breakthrough um, Rampage, I'm sorry, uh, a couple years ago. And I'm surprised that wasn't in the set. But overall, I think, you know, you look at this, you have the foliage in the back, which looks okay. It looks a little messy, but it needs to be there to add to the scene, or else it would look a lot more empty. However, then you look at these um, electrical fence wires, and if I recall correctly, I believe these come in the manual bag um, with the manual. And for that box being as big as it is, um, being about, uh, I'd say, 50% air in the box, my instruction manual was completely bent in half. And, and I believe that these were in the uh, instruction manual bag with it. And so is the sticker sheet. I'm not 100% on that. But as you can see in the back, back there, maybe a little bit, um, if I bring in the set itself, the box art, you can see that all the, um, wires are supposed to be like in one direction. I tried to bend these over and over again to get them to look right. 
but they're just kind of all over the place and I don't know it doesn't look great I can't get them to work properly your mileage may vary though um, also I would say that you know as a diorama it looks pretty good but the t-rex t-rex I think looks pretty good it's a little bit more stable than the t-rex rampage which I thought that t-rex in that set was a little fragile um I've bumped into my desk a few times and knocked it over and broken off a leg or two. Now, this one, I think, is a little bit more um, stronger, but the feet, I think, are just a little too elongated, a little too fat. I just don't think they look that, that good. Yeah, so we're going with a 7 out of 10 for now. Um, let's take a look at uh, the set deeper and start with the minifix. So first off here, we have Tim. Um, Tim has got a lot of mud on his shirt because he's been trampled underneath the car and the, and the mud's f filling in um, through the car windows as the T-Rex is stepping on it. Overall, I think he looks pretty good. I've never been a fan of those smaller leg minifigures. I just wish, you know, it's, I know it's a kid, just make it a little bit taller so that they have some more posability. But overall, He's got good hair piece. Actually, the hair piece is kind of like an old Luke Skywalker um, hair piece from the 1999s era. But they also come with the goggles from the scene that when he finally sees that the T-Rex is uh, eating the goat and about to break out of the cage. So that's very nice addition. And they do move up and down. Next up, we have Lex or Lexi. She looks pretty good. As you can see, she's muddy just like Tim and her other arm is a little bit, is, is all mud colored just like Tim's left arm, but here is her right. She has one hair piece, no additional accessories. There is the flashlight in the, in the car back there, um, in the car that's not broken up, um, that is included, but it's, it's in the instructions that's supposed to stay in the back seat or in the trunk. But yes, she looks pretty good here. No um, leg printing or side leg printing and taking off her um, hair piece. You can see that she does have two faces and a lot of mud on her back. Moving on to Alan Grant here, we can see that his shirt is very wet from standing out in the rain to um, try to lure the T-Rex away with his little candlestick. And I don't even know what you would call that piece sticking out in trans red, but this is supposed to be his flare that he's trying to lure the T-Rex away from the children. We can see that he, Grant does have a his hat, his signature hat, and because of his hat leaving open space in the back, uh, he only has one face print. But in the back of his T-shirt, you can also see that it is wet. They do, however, include um, uh, a hair piece for Grant. I think the hair piece looks okay for this minifigure. And lastly, we have Ian Malcolm with a little bit of, um, with his shirt being open a little bit and to show some of that chest hair. Very Ian Malcolm from the Jurassic Park movies. Um, you can see that he's got some wetness on his uh, face and shirt from the rain. A little bit less than Alan Grant because he got out of the car a little bit uh, later than Alan did in the scene. So I think that's a pretty good detail. Again, with no, none of these figures, there's no um, leg printing, toe printing, um, waist printing, side printing, or arm printing. You just get torso printing on front and back, face printing, and that's about all you get here. But again, you can see the wetness on the back. I'd say this is a pretty good minifigure. I do like it. You always gotta love Mr. Chaos. And he also gets um, a flair for him as well. So overall, why do I rate this a seven out of 10? Well, a couple of reasons. Like I said earlier, I think the T-Rex feet are a little too fat for it. Um, overall, I think the body and tail look pretty good. Um, good mouth pieces in there and, and almost as much teeth as the big, bigger version of the T-Rex. Um, however, like I said about the foliage and the, um, the, the electrical wires here looking a little rough, um, I think they could have done a, a little better job on the Jeeps. Like I, the front detail, is amazing. I love the um, push bar and everything they have going on there and the bumpers, the bumpers look good. Just overall the car itself, I, I'm not really into speed champions or anything like that, but it's just a little blocky. I don't I don't know, I, I'm being um, critical here, but I don't know what they could have done to add a little bit more curve out here. It's just a little too blocky. 
one of the other reasons I, I rated a seven is here in 2022, I've gotten three sets now that have had missing pieces. And this is the first time um, I've ever had missing pieces from a Lego set. Sorry, Grant. Um, I'm missing one black uh, one by two tile back here. And it's not really missing, but if you look closely, this top windshield piece, which I'm not sure if it was on other sets or not, but there's a crack in it that comes from the box. And the box has no damage to it. It's a perfectly good box. So how is it cracked? I'm not sure, but I've already ordered both of those pieces from Lego's uh, bricks um, that you can get replacements for. But yeah, so that soured the set for me a little bit. And of course, I always check the floor to make sure I'm not crazy and dropped it, but I could not find that uh, black one by two grill piece. However, I've had a couple pieces missing from other sets. I've had um, the twenty, um, the twenty twenty two ATST Hoth ATST. I had um, a couple missing pieces on the probe droid that was attached, and the they gave me the wrong um, uh, face or, or headpiece to one of the Rebel troopers, and. It worked out because it looked like a old um, white man and it was fine. And I was just like, okay, this works. I think it was supposed to be a woman in that set. It was just a weird coincidence that I did not get the, the correct head and I got the wrong head somehow. But mainly I was missing a lot of pieces um, to the probe droid. But yeah, overall, I mean, the set has a lot of detail. You can see the T-Rex paddock here. Um, there's some detail inside of the uh, car that shows the, um, the part of the island that you're on. Um, you gotta love the, boy, I hate being right all the time, Ian Malcolm quote. Sorry, it's a little dusty here. Um, but yeah, I like to display Tim underneath the car. It's not supposed to do this. He's not supposed to fit there. And it puts a little bit of stress on the T-Rex here. Um, but I, th I think it you know recreates the scene. He doesn't really crawl out, but he is underneath the car. So I'm still trying to show him off a little bit. Alan has fallen here. Um, but yeah, there's uh, some high voltage uh, and don't touch uh, stickers on the on the uh, set. There's a lot of stickers with this set. Two stickers right there and two more on the other side. Same two there and two more on the other side. 04 and 04 on the other side. 05 and 05 on the other side. You got the sticker sheet in there. Um, you got the back stickers uh, on the back of the tailgate as well as, well as the lysing plate. And then um, this is a sticker. Um, both of these are a sticker as well as the, as the no um, don't touch stickers. All of those are stickers, a lot of stickers and on the front uh, hood here as well. So it is a little tedious with all the stickers. I think the T-Rex feet, that's the only thing that really comes out at me. I think everything else about the T-Rex looks really good. Um, I like that they flip one car and as you can see the detail of the one missing tire. Um, maybe I have built that wrong because it, it appears to now see to be on the wrong side. I feel like maybe it should be on this side. Um, I'll have to check back in the instruction manual for that. But um, I, Lego, you can build yours how you want, whichever tire you want off. But like I said, I, I store some of the um, hair pieces in there just so I don't lose them. You can see the uh, video camera or the a flashlight that uh, Lex shines at the T-Rex to piss him off and get him to come and attack their car right there. And overall, I mean, the set is good. This is one that I saw it when it came out, when it was released. Uh, Target, for some reason, sent me the uh, notification for it, pre-ordered it immediately. Heck, I was like, I, I think I'm on pre-order too, just to keep one sealed because this is going to be an amazing set later for just value and everything else. But yeah, that's the T-Rex breakout set. I think it's a good set, a 7 out of 10. A couple of issues I wish that could have been um, fixed. Uh, but overall, it's a good set and it's really big. It's really long. Um, I just wish it could have been a little cleaner looking. But the scene itself is not a very clean scene. So maybe Lego did what they needed to here. And until next time, this has been Debo the Hero. Um, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. My own personal T-Rex wanted to show up for the video here at the end. Say hi, Jack. All right, bye, guys.